I'm Pastor Ira J. Ackery of the Greater St. John Bible Church, and we're located on the northwest side of Chicago in the Austin community. Thank you so much for joining us today for another amazing worship experience. At Greater St. John, we exist to renew the lives of seekers and believers alike, strengthening families, transforming communities, and changing the world. Do me a favor, tag someone, text someone, or simply tell someone that Pastor Ackery and Greater St. John is on the air. I pray that you are blessed by this service. Amen. Amen. Come on, put those hands together if you love Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, you ought to just thank God for another opportunity to worship and bless his holy name. Amen. Wherever you are, we invite you, those that are watching, that are tuning in, wherever you are, uh, to invite someone to share in this worship experience with you. Amen. Tag someone, text someone, or tell someone that Greater St. John Bible Church is on the air. Amen. Is anybody glad to be alive on today? Amen. Amen. We, 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 we've come to worship our God, for he is worthy of our praise. Does anybody feel like me? Do you know that God is worthy of your praise? Is there anything that you can think of that God has done for you just today? that would warrant a praise from you. You ought to just take maybe about six or seven seconds and just tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you for waking you up. Tell the Lord, thank you for keeping you. Thank you for, for covering you in spite of all that we've gone through, in spite of everything that's happening around us. The reality is, is that God is still good. Not only is God still good, God is still faithful. And whatever he said, he will bring it to fruition. Amen. Amen. We thank you so much for joining us here today. Amen. We are excited. So much going on around Greater St. John Bible Church. We invite you to tune in. Check out our uh, website, our Facebook page, our social media sites. Amen. There's so much, so much, so much going on. Amen. And we'll come back and tell you about it a little later. Right now, we want to petition the throne of grace. Uh, and go before the Lord. Let's pray. Eternal God, our Father, we come down to say thank you. God, we thank you for just being God. Right now, Father God, we come lifting up our highest praise to you because, God, we realize that you're worthy. Father God, you're worthy not just for what you have done, but for who you are. And so right now, Father God, we're coming asking that you saturate this place with your spirit. Father God, we need you like we've never needed you before. And Father God, we're trusting and we're wholly depending on you. Father God, we're not depending on the, the situations, the circumstances around us. Because Father God, if it were for that, God, we would have given up a long time ago. But God, right now, we're trusting in you. We're depending on you, God, because we know that you're able to pull us through. Right now, Father God, we're asking that you touch each and every person under the sound of my voice. God, you know every need. You know every desire. And God, we're asking that you move according to your will your word and your way. God, we're asking that you look over every person in the building, those that are watching online, and we're asking that nobody leaves this worship experience the same way they were before they came. God, we love you. We bless you. We praise your holy name. These and other blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey there, my name is Bernard and welcome to Greater St. John Bible Church. We're so grateful that you decided to join us today. I'd like to take a moment to fill you in on what happens at the John. So check it out. If this is your first time here, we welcome you today. And for those who have watched and worshiped with us before, welcome back. We hope that you are blessed by today's message. Join us each Sunday at 10 a.m. for our live Sunday morning worship broadcast. Following morning worship, it's Children's Church at 11.30 via Zoom. You can also catch us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for what we call Wednesday Night Live. 
and come Zoom with us on Thursday at 7 p.m. for life development. Now, there are three ways to view our broadcast via YouTube, Facebook Live, or the Greater St. John Bible Church website at gsjbchurch.org. So please like, share, comment, and tell us where you're viewing from. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Wednesday, June 2nd, is our monthly prayer call. So join us and tell your loved ones. 2 Corinthians 9 and 7 tells us that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And here are five ways to sow into our ministry. By way of Givelify app, Zelle, PayPal, our website, or the Greater St. John app. Or simply mail to our office in Chicago. Let's keep our bereaved families as well as our sick and shut-in in our prayers. We want you to know about the upcoming events that are happening at our church. So please visit our website, gsjbchurch.org. And you can also text GSJBC to 55469. This concludes this week's announcements. Have a great week. Good morning, Greater St. John. Come on, stand on your blessed feet this morning. Hallelujah. How many know that God has been better than good? Hallelujah. How many know that God has been better than good? In spite of what's going on, hallelujah. God, in spite hallelujah. of what's going on in our lives, what we think, what's being spoken, hallelujah. God has still been better than good to us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. See, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises to continually be in my mouth. So no matter what I see or how I feel. As I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing. I'll bless the Lord. As long as I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing. I'll bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Said I will bless. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, Lord. And His praise will continually be in my life.
Let's keep that praise going. He has been better than good, no matter how we think about it. And today we just want to give him glory and honor for his strength, his joy, the peace that he gives us, a sound mind that reaches all of us. So let's invite him in. Let's welcome him in the room. Let's welcome him in virtual land as well. Hallelujah.
for your love got stronger than mountains and it's deeper than oceans and it reaches to me unfailing love is strong because you've been so good you know by now <laughs> you haven't been the smartest or the slickest nor have you been the greatest social distancer <laughs> amen but God has smiled upon us and graced us with another opportunity right where you are can you give him some praise again 
I can't hear you, but I ought to be able to see you. Because even though you got a mask on your mouth, there's nothing on your hands. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Let, let me just say uh, to Greater St. John Bible Church, I want to thank you all uh, for just being a great church. Amen. Amen. What a great church you are. I go all across the country talking about the wonderful people that God has blessed us to be a part of here at Greater St. John Bible Church. Give yourselves a hand. There's no church like this church, near this church. There's no place like this place, near this place. You are in the right place with the right people doing the right thing because you are praising the almighty God. And he's worthy to be praised. I want to thank you for last Sunday as we celebrated the church's 36th year of existence doing ministry in Chicago and across the nation, actually. Amen. And we were able to uh, raise, even from various locations, everybody's little bit, amen, to help uh, with the startup credit union for the Leaders Network. We owe over 3000 some dollars. You guys did. Amen. Without pushing and begging anybody. Amen. It's about 30 of us community leaders um, that have pledged to raise $5,000 to kind of jumpstart the expenses. Amen. And, um, and we are over our 5000 Amen. 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 I, I know that we're going to do more because I had a couple of people tell me last week that um, this wasn't their week to give their 25 or 50, but they wanted to still give. And so you still be able to do that. Also, I want to tell you that um, um, the scholarship concert fundraising uh, has began. In fact, it began yesterday, okay? <laughs> That's how late we are. It be it's been so much going on, but I'm not going to just deal with that right now. But, <clears throat> amen, our scholarship fundraising has begun, amen. And certainly uh, that concert will be uh, here August um, uh, the 13th, amen. And certainly we pray that you will tell people who believe in what we do, amen, and who, uh, those of you that have friends, I have some of your friends, amen, and say, um, I see your pastor all the time, he's out there on the front line, um, <laughs> tell them next time, don't just pull for us, push with us, okay, <laughs> amen, tell them they can come on and help us if they believe in the community like we do, amen, they can be a part of us, amen. Amen. They don't have to just root for us. They can help support us. Amen. Because it's going right through our hands to some young person to help them pursue their dream. Amen. Amen. We'll take this moment to, to uh, lift up our prayers for those who are sick and shut in. Amen. And those who are grieving and bereaved. Amen. This week, uh, Sister Betty Rogers, amen. She hasn't been around in a long time. Amen. But she goes back a long way with us. Amen. Been convalescing at least five or six years at Esperia um, in Forest Park. She made her transition, and that service will be here Friday. Amen. And so we're praying for the Thomas family. Amen. April, Keisha, Nisi, and Ricky, and Dan and Ty family. Those children, as, as they uh, uh, say goodbye to their aunt, amen. And also, uh, as many of you know, uh, one of our good loyal soldiers, uh, brother, brother Singleton, brother Roosevelt Singleton, uh, suddenly uh, passed away this week, amen. And um, we, somebody told me that <clears throat> his wife, Amen. My classmate, actually. She's younger than me, but she was there at the same time. Um, is in this church. Amen. God bless her. Amen. And uh, show us some love wherever you are. Show her some. Come on, on your feet. Show her some love. Hallelujah. I said to myself, I couldn't help Deacon Brown but to, uh, but to laugh, Deacon Osa Decker. <laughs> I said, well, she, she might as well come on to church because uh, from now, all these days, you know, we're going to be bombarding the house, so she might as well get see us all at one time. 
Amen. We're going to keep crowding you out. Amen. Amen. Because it's just a return of the seed that you and Roosevelt have invested. Amen. And so... So we're praying for, for the family. And we know God will see them through it. And we know that he'll see the church through it. Amen. Yes, he will. I want to invite your attention to um, a scripture that I found some encouragement from. The book of Psalms 73. Psalm 73, verse 1, and a few of the following verses. <laughs> Truly God is good to Israel, <clears throat> even to such as our clean, excuse me, I'm sorry. Truly, truly God is good to Israel, even to such as I have a clean heart. But as for me and my feet, we're almost gone. My feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their debt, but their strength is firm. That are not, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish for. I want to use verse number two to highlight the thoughts I'd like to share today. Verse number two, where it says, But for as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. I want to talk about it. I almost slipped. I almost slipped. Amen. I don't know about you, but can I talk with some real saints that's not going to pretend that you wake up in the morning every day saying hallelujah, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. And no matter what goes on, you have a scripture to quote. And I talk to some real believers here in Greater St. John and across uh, the city and perhaps those who are tuning in from other places. Have you ever had a time in your life when it looked like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Show of hands. <laughs> Anybody ever had a season uh, in your life where it looked like you were having one L after the other? Your, your, your worst nightmare actually happened. Amen. It, it, it can become very discouraging, depressing, and stressful when it appears as if all of your goals are floundering. Yes. But then you look at the world and you look at uh, 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 Satan's uh, army and you look at those who are not a part of the ark of safety and it looks as if everything they touch turns to gold. Yeah, yeah, preach Ira J. Yeah, it, it, it's, I don't know about you, amen, amen. I, I, I had, to, had to gather my words before I said this, amen, but, but, but I must confess today, just to be transparent from a Christian pulpit, it's not always easy holding on to your conviction that God is good when everything in your, in your life is looking bad. <laughs> Amen. Maybe, maybe you don't want to admit it, and I won't, I won't dig too deep into it, but, but, but honestly, have you ever got so frustrated as a Christian that you wanted to throw up your hand? Can I talk to a real church? 
Amen. Have you, have you I've asked the question, uh, Lord, what is going on? Anybody been there? Anybody been there? Amen. Amen. In case you never felt uh, uh, like you were on the brink of quitting, if you've never been there, amen, there is a guy I want to introduce to you today. Amen. His name is Asaph. Asaph, uh, he was no just regular Joe Blow of Christendom. He, he was not just a guy who showed up in God's tabernacle every blue moon. He, he was not a person who, who was just uh, a guy who was sitting in the back seat, last one in, first one to go. Asaph was really a believer in God. Asaph, Asaph was one of the great worship leaders in scripture. We, we think of many great worship leaders. We think of many great musicians and Donald Alford and you can go on down the list. You, 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 you can think of many names, Yolanda Allens, but you need to understand Asaph, he was the trailblazer for them all. Amen. He was not only a worship leader, but he was a musician. He was, he was a songwriter. And many times we believe that when we read the Psalms that it was written all by David. We, we hear David talking about the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I feel? We hear the David talking about the, uh, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. But, but, but David did not write all of the Psalms. Amen. There are 11 Psalms, amen, that Asaph wrote. Amen. But, but Asaph, as he writes this particular Psalm, he feels emotionally distraught because there's so much going on in his life. Amen. He has been a tither. Y'all ha don't have to say nothing. <laughs> he has been faithful. Can I get a witness? He has been serving. He has been supporting. He has been, he's been carrying his corner. He has been doing his part. But, but there's so much going on in his life. But then when he looks around and look at the people, amen, that are that's doing anything they're big enough to do, seem like they're doing all right. Seem like they're faring okay. Seem like they're prospering. Look like their businesses are thriving. Look like their children not acting crazy. Amen. He, he, he says, wait a minute. But he starts off. And in verse number one, you got to give him credit, even though he's frustrated. Amen. He, he still says God is good. Amen. So he still, amen, as bad as things are going, he said, truly God is good to Israel, even to such that are of a clean heart. He said, but, somebody said, but, but as for me, my feet almost slipped. I almost quit. There was a time I almost walked away. They Talking about I could direct. Well, I wasn't going to direct no more. They're talking about, oh, that boy can sing. Who sing? Not me. I'm not going back to church. I'm not going back to the sanctuary because Asaph is saying, I can't do this anymore because I'm working, I'm serving, I'm giving my talent, my tithe, and I'm giving my time, and, 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 and it looks like uh, uh, that those who are not walking according to the principles and precepts of the Lord, they're doing well. And now, now basically what he's really saying is, first of all, let me just tell you this. He's pouring out his heart to God. And there's some of you listening today, some of you that showed up today, Amen. You, you came here today. Amen. You, you, you came to the temple, and I give you credit. Amen. For coming in the midst of your pain, I give you credit. For coming in the midst of your tears, amen. I give you credit. Amen. For coming. Amen. And, and, and guess what? There's somebody here going to allow you to put your head on their shoulder. Hallelujah. Because we are a loving church. But let me tell you something. Amen. He pours out his heart. To God. Amen. He, he could have easily used his influence and just started talking negative. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> he could have just started talking negative and almost sounding 
what we call back in the day sacrilegious. Amen. And almost he could have he could have really made a scene. It didn't have to end as nice as it does end. He could have easily just started almost blasphemously talking, I ain't singing no more. He could have just said, you God ain't just what I'm doing. He, he didn't go into all that. Amen. But he did acknowledge that it's irritating. <laughs> he did acknowledge that, that it's draining. He did acknowledge that it's frustrating and exasperating seeing God's godless people living on easy street while I'm struggling. He said that. That's what, that's what Asaph said. He said he, it, it, it's tough after a period of time. Amen. I know we, we, we say it's just for a season, but when will the losing season cease? Amen. We look around and, 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 and sinful people, uh, uh, sinners are, are sailing and soaring, thriving and striving, while those of us who try to live for God, God honoring lives are always facing trials, troubles, tribulation, and tragedy. But, 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 but I need to tell you, this, this psalm, and I know if some of you are new in Christ and never heard this, 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 this message is grabbing you a certain way this morning. Amen. It's grabbing you a certain way because uh, Asaph is saying something publicly in the word of God that some of us have thought privately. This psalm is a brutally honest confessional. Amen. Amen. He said, I, he said, listen, I almost slipped. I almost walked away. I almost said, uh, I'm out of here. But he, 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 he has a conversation with God. He, amen. He, he, he kept it 100 with God. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And if you sense you feel like letting go today, amen, after you decide to pour out your heart to God, next thing you need to do is follow what he did. He, he weighs his choices carefully. You got to do that. You got to weigh your choices carefully, amen. Now, you got to give Asaph credit because he never negatively influenced others with his distracted perspective. Now, 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 now you do know he was distracted, don't you? Amen. Because he, he took his eyes off the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, 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 honestly, in the midst of whatever we're going through, and some of us are going, uh, some of us, we know who are dealing with some right now. Amen. But, but, but others, we're, we're dealing with some things privately. Right? Amen. But, but, but I, I need to tell you, amen, make sure you keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. He, he was bothered by their prosperity. Verse 12 said, Behold, uh, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. He, 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 he goes on and, and he said, I wanted to quit. Can I talk to some people? If you don't want to wave your hand to, and don't want to say amen, just look amen. How many ever, amen, have, have been frustrated in your, I know some tithers have been there because you say I've given my 10%. I know some, some people who served in ministry have been there at some point. Amen. You wanted to walk away. You wanted to throw in the towel. You, you wanted to quit. But I read this poem. It ain't in the Bible, but it sure sound nice. It says, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when funds are low and debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but please don't quit. Life is strange with this twist and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure comes about when we might have won had we stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. 
you may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight. When your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Look at somebody and tell them, don't quit, don't quit. Tell three people, don't quit. In fact, you ought to just tell yourself, I will not quit. I must not quit. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pressing. Storm may rise, but I got to keep marching. If I can't run, I'll walk. If I can't walk, I'll hop. If I can't hop, I'll crawl. But by all means, I'm going to keep on moving. Keep moving. Keep pushing. If you get knocked down, get up. Don't you quit. Don't you quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Thank God he hits the pause button. He said, I want it to go off. I want it to snap. But I made up in my mind, I'm going back. I said I wasn't going to direct no more. I said I wasn't going to sing in the soprano section no more. I wasn't going to get on the organ anymore. But something got a hold of me and said, go back to where you started from. Go back to your first love. Woo. He hit the pause button. And you know, sometimes you got to hit the pause button. You got to hit a pause button in your life because if you don't hit the pause button, you'll find yourself cussing folk out who ain't done nothing to you. If you don't hit the pause button, You'll find yourself drinking stuff that you normally wouldn't drink. Or if you do drink, you'll be drinking too much. Letting his cynicism and anger out in words would have plagued and played right into Satan's hand. But he said, I ain't going to quit. He said, because I see the big picture. He, 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 he said, I see the big picture. Amen. And it wasn't until he went back to the sanctuary. And I don't know about you, but there's somebody in the room today. Thank y'all for, for worshiping with us virtually. But there's somebody that's present today. Amen. All to just say, let's just come clean. And even though we're grateful that we had YouTube and Facebook Live and the website during the whole pandemic that began on the second Sunday in March of 2020. But there ought to be somebody that showed up this morning that can testify that there ain't nothing like the real thing. You can get inspiration online. You can get encouragement online. God can save online because God is everywhere. But there's nothing like being in the building. No wonder David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asaph said, take me to the sanctuary. Virtual church has been a blessing. It's been great, but it's no substitute because there's no, no substitute uh, like the Hebrew writer says, like assembling of us together. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. Yeah, he got, he got blessed at the sanctuary. Yeah, because when he got in the sanctuary, he got some fellowship. Yeah, 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 he, he got some love in the sanctuary. Received a song and a sermon in the sanctuary. Somebody needs uh, to get back to the sanctuary. Yet somebody 
leads uh, to get back uh, to the Savior. Uh, yes, uh, in my life, uh, I had uh, my ASF moments. Uh, in my life, uh, I felt uh, like I wanted to quit. Uh, when I look over these last 13 months, uh, I've taken uh, major losses. Yeah, when I look over, and some of you too, when you look over these few months that are upon us, yeah, perhaps you had an ASAP encounter uh, where you wanted to quit. Uh, what you wanted to wave the white flag. Yeah, well, uh, some of you, uh, I don't talk about it much. Uh, yeah, uh, but I've seen uh, so many L's uh, this year. Mm. Yeah, uh, I lost a deacon uh, this year. Within a 14-month period, mm, the chairman of the board, mm, uh, I lost uh, a minister, and I've lost uh, an armor bearer. Yeah, I've lost uh, my grandmother. <laughs> uh, I've lost, uh, have mercy, Lord. Mm, I lost uh, one of my best friends. Uh, Carrie Sparks, uh, uh, we've been in ministry. Uh, we were in ministry 30 years together. Mm. Yes, uh, I've had uh, losses uh, uh -huh, like never before. Mm. Yes, uh, and uh, I remember uh, when Sparks died, uh, walking through the house. Uh, and I, I, it, that's here's a disadvantage uh, of Margaret being a member, but also my wife. Uh, I just walked uh, through the house and uh, said, Lord, uh, Lord, why? Yes, uh, yeah, I know it's nice when she said, he's my pastor, but I'm really her husband. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, and I walked uh, with tears in my eyes, uh, said, Lord, uh, what's going on uh, in the world? Uh, yes, uh, and then it just kept on happening one loss after another do you hear me but thank God yes sir that we can always go to him do you hear what I'm saying well let me leave you here what you need to do is renew your relationship with God. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, when I looked at Brother Asaph, Asaph, uh, he was distracted uh, by the prosperity uh, of the wicked. <laughs> Envy uh, had poisoned his mind. Uh, Envy uh, had discouraged his spirit. Uh, he envied their riches. <laughs> He envied their royalties. He envied their resources. Do you hear me? Well, this passage concludes. Do you hear what I'm saying? That he took his misguided misery to the merciful master. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm so glad. Yes, that we can go to the master. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm so glad. Yes, sir, that we don't have to carry these burdens all by ourselves. Ain't God all right? So long, greater St. John. So many of you, you had your share of losses. So, so many of you, 
you've taken so many hits. So many of you, you had to cry at the midnight hour. Ain't God all right? But oh, let me leave it on record. You need to know. God told me to tell you in the midst of your tears, fight on. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, fight on through your darkest day. Yeah. God bless your heart. Fight on. Fee, fee. Fight on. Yeah. Fight on. Nisa, April, and Keisha. Fight on. Yes, sir. Elizabeth, if you're watching, my sister. You took your losses, but please know, Reverend told you, Reverend told you, please, I know, I know you, I saw you with tears in your eyes, but with funeral life, your six-month grandbaby, but oh, Across the room, tell the people you ain't gotta touch nobody, but just do this favor for me. Look at somebody and tell them fight on and run on, fight on and run on. was running his race. His name was Derek Redman. You can look it up on YouTube. 1992, he had practiced to run the 400 meter man, the 400 meter race. And he was fired up. Yes, he was excited. Yes. chance to win the gold medal. He could run like a deer. Yes. But Taylor, you know what happened? And while he was running in the middle of the race, he pulled a hamstring. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. He pulled a hamstring. And while he was grabbing himself. He fell to the ground. Do you hear what I'm saying? And, but he had made a commitment to himself. I may not win, but I'm going to finish the race. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, ha, ha. And he stumbled to the ground. Yes. But he got up. Yes, sir. And uh, he started hopping, trying to make it. And uh, there came some of his team trying to rescue him off the field. He pushed them off. He said, no, I got to finish the race. Do you hear what I'm saying? And it was amazing. 
to see his face grimace as he tried to finish the rest of the race. After a while, his daddy left out. The security guard didn't know who he was. The security guard tried to hold him back. He said, let me go. They kept on trying to pull on him. And you know what he did? Before you know it, he jumped over. He jumped over the rafter. Yes. And he kept on. And they grabbed him one time. He said, will you leave me alone? That's my son. Struggling on that field. Do you hear what I'm saying? But you should have seen it. In fact, you can see it for yourself. Google it. And old man saw his son. And his son looked at his father. He tried to win him off. Because he thought his daddy was trying to take him off the field. Daddy said, no. I'm not going to take you off the field. I'm going to put your arm around you. And we're going to finish this race. We're going to finish it together. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! They kept on moving. They kept on sailing. Kept on hopping. Till they made it to. Thank God, alright. Yeah! I thought about the Lord. If you run it. And you get weary, don't worry, our Father, he will come from heaven down, he'll come down, he'll get under the load with you, yes he will, he'll help you run your race, anybody know he'll help you run your race, say yeah. gave up. But thank God for Jesus. Woo! Thank God for Jesus. Out of church, out of Christ, you can come. Don't you wave the white flag. God is still on the throne. He got up that third day morning with all power in his hand. And if he got up in the midst of all of that, you can get up. The doors of the Lord's house open. You can join. Look at the screen if you want to come. Uh, online, but those of you that are present out of church, you can walk down that aisle and give me your hand, give God your heart. The doors of the Lord's house are open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I almost let go. <laughs> Hallelujah. I felt like I just yeah. couldn't take life. Anymore, my problems had me bound. Depression weighed me down, but God held me close, so I wouldn't let go. Glory to God. God's mercy. So I wouldn't let go. I almost <laughs> gave up. Somebody know what he's talking about this morning. <laughs> I was right at the edge of a breakthrough, but couldn't. 
God is a keeper. I wonder if there are just about four or five people in the building, anybody that can testify that our God is a keeper. I, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm not looking for the rest. I'm looking for the kept folk that don't mind testifying that God is a keeper. I know we gotta move, but I, I just couldn't help but think. I remember Dr. Tony Miller was telling a story one time. How he was on an airport, on, a, on an airplane, he was traveling for a revival. He was tired and wanted to get some rest. And there was a lady on the plane next to him, and she just kept talking as he was trying to get some sleep. And she kept talking and talking. And finally, she asked him what he did, and he said, "Ma'am, I'm a I'm a pastor." And he tried to go back to sleep, and, and he couldn't sleep. And he leaned over and said, well, well, since you got me up, what is it that you do? And the lady said, I, I, was, I, was, I was afraid you were going to ask me that question. And she said, well, Pastor, I'm a kept woman. A a and Pastor Miller said, well, what does that mean? She said, well, I have a man that keeps me. He supplies all of my needs. He takes care of me. He does everything for me. And then Pastor Miller looked over and said, well, in that case, I'm a kept man. Because there's a man that keeps me. There's a man that provides for me. There's a man that does everything for me. And I wonder today if there's anybody that can testify. You know that you're a kept man. You're a kept woman. Because 
There's a man that supplies your needs. There's a man that provides for you. There's a man that takes care of you. Somebody ought to just shout out, he killed me. When I couldn't keep myself, he kept me. When I was ready to throw in the towel, he kept me. When I was going through danger, seen and unseen, he kept me. When I didn't know how I was going to make it, he kept me. Is there anybody that can testify that it's been the Lord that's been keeping you? It's not your good paying job. It's not you being safe and secure. But it's nobody but the Lord who's kept you. If you know it was nobody but the Lord, if you're tuning in, you ought to just type in the comments, he kept me. Think about a time when you didn't think you were going to make it and, and somehow you made it. You ought to just say, he kept me. He kept me. When I couldn't keep myself, he kept me. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Amen, amen. He is a keeper. I almost slipped, but God kept me. Amen, amen. Let's praise God for the word and for our pastor, allowing the Lord to use him in a mighty way. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. We want you to be able to be a blessing, amen, to our ministry uh, so we can keep these services coming to you. Uh, there are several ways that you can give. Uh, if you're tuning in online, if you're here um, in the building, amen, we would love for you to give online as well. We have several ways that you can give, uh, but if you just need an envelope, we can uh, accommodate you. Just raise your hand and one of the ushers uh, will give you an envelope. Amen. But there are several ways to give here. We want uh, you to be able to be a blessing as God has so richly and so graciously blessed you as well. Amen. 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 Uh, we want to uh, share that which God has given to us. Several ways you can give. Our website, GiveLify, Zelle. Amen. We got, we got it all. We got it all. We want you to be a blessing as God has so richly blessed you. Amen. 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 Just take a minute and, and give and sow. Amen. Also, while, you, while you're doing that, while you're getting your gifts together, uh, just one additional announcement uh, for the month of June. Amen. Our Life Development uh, Institute, our, our Christian Education Department, I should say, uh, will be having our breakout classes. Amen. Amen. We'll be having breakout classes. You can see the flyer there on the screen. Uh, if you are not able to get all the information, you can give a call to the church, 773-378-3300, and you can get that information and sign up for one of these classes. We have some dynamic subject matters uh, paired with some dynamic instructors and co-instructors, and I promise you, you do not want to miss these breakout classes for the month of June. The classes run for four to five weeks, amen, and, and there are different days of the week, so uh, there, there's some flexibility there, so we want you to sign up and join and partake in these breakout classes, amen, 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 amen. We hope that you all have had the opportunity to give, to sow, uh, to be a blessing. Amen. We thank you all so much. Those of you that are here, thank you for being in the building, worshiping with us. Those of you that are out there uh, in virtual land, we thank you for worshiping with us. And as always, we invite you and encourage you uh, to share this video. Tag someone. Amen. Let us pray as we prepare uh, to leave this place, but never God's presence. Eternal God, our Father, we come now to say thank you. God, we thank you right now for keeping us. We thank you right now for protecting us, for covering us as only you can. And God, as we prepare to leave this place but never your presence, God, we're asking that you keep on keeping us. 
keep on keeping your angels encamped around us. Father God, we know that many of us are not able to afford bodyguards, but we thank you for keeping us. We thank you for allowing your angels to watch over us, as Grandmama would say, all day and all night. They keep on watching over us right now. Father God, we're asking that you be a lifter of our heads right now. Father God, we're asking that you be a mender of broken hearts. God, we're asking that you uh, lift those heavy burdens right now. Father God, we need you like we've never needed you before. And God, we put all of our hope and all of our trust in you. God, we love you. We bless you. We praise your holy name. These and all of the blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and worshiping with us today. If you were blessed by today's service, go ahead and be a blessing to this ministry. Have a great week. Walk in faith and know that I'm praying for you. Until next time, be blessed.